So today we're going to be talking about all five of these E-Fighter cards. I did a video on Gohan and Piccolo yesterday, if I remember correctly, but hey, we're just going to go ahead and talk about all five of them today just because. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start out with Gohan and Piccolo. So I'm going to skip over the leader skill because their leader skills are all pretty much the same. They give it AGL type 3 key and 70% stats. And if we take a look at all these guys, I'm pretty sure that Krillin's going to be giving in type 3 key and 70% stats. Yamcha's going to be giving STR 3 key and 70% stats. Um tn so on and so forth they all pretty much have the same exact leader skill and the one thing that's notable about their leader skill is the fact that they're good for easy a areas if you're going to go with a mono type specific team so um let's talk about their passive so their passive two key and they also get 30 percent attack and defense per sand saga or, or red fighters category characters on the team as well as 150 percent attack and defense performing a super attack and them having a unrestricted 30 percent chance to crit and an additional 50 percent attack and defense and launches an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance to come a super attack when there is a full rotation of super class allies and they get 20 percent damage reduction we have a goku on the team and their super attack they stack attack and defense and they seal so uh what is the most notable thing about this card this card is a stacking card that really wants to have a full rotation of super class characters so you get that additional super attack chance also as that additional attack and defense which is going to be very helpful for them considering the fact that they are a free-to-play unit with low stats as well as them getting an attack and defensive buff from their passive to their super attack deck and when i what i mean by that is that they get 150 percent attack and defense when they perform a super attack in their passive while they're also stacking attack and defense inside their super attack um, other little things I would like to note about is the fact that they do have damage reduction. They do really want to get that off. So you want to slap that Goku on the team. Preferably, I'm pretty sure that Dokkan is uh, hinting at the fact that you want version Z Goku uh, with the, this card on the team. Because version Z Goku is just a god. So uh, damage reduction, additional super attack chance to help this card stack up more attack and defense. As well as atta attack and defense above and they pass their super attack deck. And the fact that you want to run this card with either Saiyan Saga, a full Saiyan Saga team, or a full earth red fighters team more preferably earth red fighters because earth red fighters is way better than saiyan saga so that is this card summed up and the 200 percent leader skills that this card is on i'm pretty certain that's only like a couple yeah they're on lr and kid gohan's 200 percent leader skill as well as the gohan and piccolo 200 percent leader skill so uh with that being said that, that's that's card that card's pretty much reviewed um in the best link upon let me just go ahead and you know, just showcase it this very very old krillin as well as this goku and chi chi and you have this uh Krillin, who you're most likely going to have them right next to him, because I'm pretty sure this Krillin is going to be buffing up uh, this uh, Gohan and Piccolo. So that is that for them. So, um, Krillin, uh, leader skill is skipping over because I've already said that at the beginning of the video. 150% uh, attack and defense at the start of turn, and a baseline 50% chance to dodge, as well as an additional 150% attack and defense when performing a super attack. He, he also gives Saiyan Saga category characters one key and 30% attack and defense. Very nice. It's going to be helpful considering the fact that all of these Z fighters are on the Saiyan Saga category. And an additional two key and 50% attack and defense, and an additional 20% chance to dodge when you attack or debuff the uh, enemy's uh, defense. So you want to attack slash defensive debuff the enemy so you get that additional dodge chance. Key and attack defensive buff. And all allies get one key and 30% attack defense and a 10% chance to crit when there's an ally whose name is Gohan Kid on the team. I do love the fact that they worded it with Gohan Kid on the team. More so on the team, not just Gohan Kid, but you guys get the gist. And his 12 key, well, 12 key, it says 12 key, bro. His super attack effects, he gets 50% attack and defense one turn, as well as quickly lowering the enemy's attack and defense and having a 50% chance to stun. So he has a very, very loaded super attack uh just effects very nice being able to attack slash defensive debuff the enemy to further activate his passive to get that additional dodge chance which is very important for him as well as him having stun chance granted in the specific situation to stun the enemy and also getting 50 percent attack and defense uh, for one turn which is also very helpful considering the fact this card is a free-to-play card so what is notable about this card is the fact that this card is a support type unit that can give up to two key and 60 percent of hack and defense in entire rotation granted you are a saiyan side category ally you're getting that specific amount of buff buffs and you're also getting up to a 70 percent chance to dodge so you want to attack slash defensive debuff the enemy so you can get that 70 percent chance to dodge as well as you giving that two key and 30 no, excuse me that two key and 60 percent attack and defense as well as that additional 10 percent chance to crit when you have a go on kit on the team and funny enough, um, hit one of his best legged partners is that Gohan Kid. We could just go ahead and showcase what 200% percent skills that he is on. Uh, let's go ahead and grab you up. Uh, you are on how many 200% percent skills? You're on the uh, Kai Goku 200% skill. You're on uh, the uh, Hachiak. Hachiak, I think. 
yeah, Hashiak, Goku, so a little battle of wits, 200% leader skill. Yeah, you're on four 200% leader skills, as well as your best linker partner being this this Namek, just Saga, Krillin, and Vegeta, okay? But you're also going to have right next to uh, Krillin and Gohan. Um, but, but yeah, this card really wants to dodge, if you're going to have right next to Krillin and Gohan. So yeah, dodge unit that supports, that has a great super attack effect combination. So that's about it for Krillin. Okay. Um, next up, we have Yamcha. What do we have for Yamcha? So Yamcha, uh, same type of leader skill. Uh, passive, one key and 188 per <laughs> one key and 180% attack and defense. I realize that I'm talking fast. It is on purpose though because I want to see how fast I can get through this video. One key and 180% attack and defense at the start of turn. An additional 180% attack and defense performing a super attack. Oh, one thing I forgot to note is the fact that another thing that's good about Krillin is the fact that he's getting an attack and defense above from his passive to a super attack effect, just like uh, just like Krillin and Gohan. Not Krillin Oh my God. Go on and pick a low. <laughs> no, I'm going to get better at this. Don't worry, guys. This is just a trial right now. Uh, and launches an additional attack as a 70% chance coming super attack. And he also launches a guarantee super as a second or third attack in a turn. And he gets 70% damage reduction within the same turn, once only, as well as a guarantee crit when HP is 50% or less at the start of the turn. And he gets 50% attack defense one turn and lowers the enemy's attack and defense on super. So what is notable about this card is the fact that this card can get up to two plus supers, 70% uh, damage reduction, as well as a guaranteed crit grant. So you do have uh, the specific HP threshold to get that off. Um, and that is about it, as well as an attack and defensive buff from his passive to a super attack. Like, that is just very good. Uh, free to play cards absolutely need that. Uh, just 50% attack and defense one turn, as well as an attack and defensive buff from his, from his passive is uh, very good on super. Um, so yeah, this card really wants to do multiple supers to get as much defense as possible post super. That is all. Yeah. And then you, have, you of course have this little ability, this little nifty ability in your back pocket to get that 70% damage reduction, which is very high for a free to play unit to have as well as that guarantee crit granted. If you do have that guarantee crit within the same turn, you could do a bunch of damage. I like to assume I would like to assume that, um, especially if you do have Krillin on the turn, because Krillin's going to support this guy if this guy's hitting inside slot three. Um, but yeah, this guy's more than likely going to be inside slot two or three. Yeah, that's going to be all. Yeah, just a card that is multiple supers, and he has a, a, a strong ability in his pack pocket, that being damage reduction and guaranteed crit. Yeah. So that's all for Yamcha. Uh, Yamcha is on how many 200% percent this goes? Let's go ahead and point it out. Yamcha is on three 200% percent skills. As well as his best thing partner would have to be uh, this Battlefield Krillin. Um, you're definitely going to have run next to this guy. Yeah. You're going to have him on a rotation with this guy or with uh, TN. Yeah. If you're going to run him on a rotation uh, because he's a dodge character. We're going to get to TN right now, guys. Don't even worry. <laughs> so, um, TN. What is TN Shenhan doing? So, 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Nice. And he gets additional 200% attack and 100% defense performing a super attack. And he also gets 100% attack and defense and a guaranteed crit when there is another Bond of Friendship category ally attack in the same turn. So this guy can just do guaranteed crits for free. Uh, just a nice little ability to have on a free-to-play unit. Uh, and he also gets additional 30% attack and 7% damage reduction for Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. So, I did read Chaozu's details and he's meant to have Chaozu with him. Because if I remember correctly, Chaozu is going to be creating Rainbow Orbs for this guy. So you really want Chaozu on the same rotation with this guy. And I'm very certain that Chaozu is his best linking partner. So uh, his uh, super attack effects, he greatly stacks defense and he gets 50% attack for one turn. And that is it. So he has a strong super attack effect of him getting 50% uh, attack for one turn as well as him greatly stacking defense. So what is notable about this guy is the fact that he, again, is getting an attack and defensive buff from his pass to a super attack effect. What a surprise. All these units are doing this. And this card also can get damage reduction per rainbow keys for obtained. So the very important thing about this card is the fact that you want to get this card as many rainbow orbs as possible. And uh, you want this card to be built full additional for him to do multiple supers. So, so this guy can go ahead and greatly stack his defense that is it yeah he wants to get as many rainbow orbs as, as possible and he wants to be built full additional so he can go ahead and greatly stack his defense that is it as well as him having attack and defensive buff passes to a super attack effect that's all <laughs> all right so um who is his best linking partner let's just go ahead and point it out and pretty sure it's just chaozu yes you're absolutely gonna run chaozu right next to him and uh he's only on two 200 playing this goes notice how pretty much all of these cards are not on more than five 200% leader skills. Yeah. Uh, so, 
Chao Tu's next. Uh, Chao Tu, uh, 140% attack and defense at the start of turn, and he also gets 140% attack and defense performing a super attack. He also has a 70% chance to dodge as the third attacker in the turn, and he randomly changes key stairs of a certain type to physical, just unrestricted, and he randomly changes key stairs of a certain type to uh, rainbow, uh, once only, and all allies get 40% attack and defense when there is another bond of friendship category ally attack at the same turn, so ooh we. Ah, he only randomly changes key spheres once only. Damn. Okay. And he also gets 50% attack defense one turn as well as having a 50% chance to stun the enemy. So what is notable about this guy is the fact that he is a double orb changer. It's one of, with him being unrestricted for him randomly changing physical key spheres. And another with him being restricted to just once only within the turn. Ah, uh, man. And he also gives a support type up. So this guy wants to sit inside the third slot to get his 70% uh, chance to dodge. He gets an attack and defensive buff from his passive to super attack effect. He is a double orb changer to one one part of, of a key sphere to being to physical and another being to rainbow once only. And uh, he also is a support type unit grants you have a bond of friendship category ally attack at the same turn. Damn, I did not remember that this guy only changes rainbow key spheres once only. He should have just been unrestricted. I would say take that randomly changed key spheres of, of a certain type to physical and just change that to rainbow and just make that unrestricted so that's about it um and the 200 percent discuss that uh chow tzu is on let's go ahead and just grab it up so chow tzu is on two 200 percent skills and his best second partner is the tech tn yeah so that is going to be also um i'm pretty certain of what we've seen here is that all these guys are on no more than five 200 percent skills um but like the most we've seen is four i believe and i think it was from krillin krillin's on the most 200 percent this goes out of all of them I'm very certain he is. So that is all. Yeah. Um. So again, to uh, talk about these units, uh, Krillin, and, Krillin. Oh my God! I called Gohan Krillin. Gohan and Piccolo stacking unit. Stacking unit with damage reduction as well as baseline crit chance as well as a additional super attack chance. Um. Just stacking unit. Krillin support slash dodge. Uh. Yamcha a multiple additional super attack chances as well as him having a nifty ability to fall back on that being damage reduction as well as that uh guarantee crit uh tn greatly stacking defense wants to get rainbow orbs and then chow Tzu wants third slot he's also a double orb changer one being restricted one being unrestricted with also him having support and they all have a attack and defensive buff in their pass with the super attack so that's it hands are up that is all um let me know what you guys think about this video that is going to be about all I have to say about these cards, uh, man, <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. You guys are the greatest. Peace.